Hi guys. I look how I feel. Fucking exhausted. And it's 3 p.m. <laughs> I've honestly been kind of sleeping all day. And I normally I would feel bad about it, but I've been doing a lot these past few honestly this this past week and it's just been a lot going on. And it's a new moon. And yesterday I was with my friend and we literally just fell asleep in my car for like an hour at the end of the night. And I just feel like that's kind of like spirit telling us that we need to rest right now because yeah, it's no reason we were literally hanging out. We were like, you know what, we're just gonna take a little 20 minute nap. Ended up falling asleep for a whole entire hour. And that sleep honestly felt amazing. Like it was so needed. But I hope you guys are doing well. Happy new moon. Um, it's a new moon in Cancer. That's also why I'm kind of just like resting today because normally during new moons, I just like to rest, recharge, reset, clear my space, clear my energy field, and just be present. Just flow with my spirit, flow with my body, and just do whatever I feel called to doing. And today, that I felt called to sleep until 2 p.m. But I didn't really sleep until two. Like I woke up early. I woke up at like nine. I stayed up to like um, almost 12 and then I went back to sleep. Cause I just couldn't bro. Like my eyes were burning. And it just was not it. It wasn't it. It wasn't, but we're gonna do a little yoga flow. And then I'm gonna try not to look raggedy anymore. I really don't even look that bad. You know, the reason why I don't look as scary as I, I normally would when I first wake up is because I fell asleep with all this mascara on. Because mascara is just too much work to take off sometimes. And last night I was just really tired and did not feel like doing it. But, yeah. Let's get flowing though because I do kind of feel a little bit stiff. Oh, and then, oh my god. Y'all, yeah, my neighbors. There's so many of them. Hey, look at my neighbor's doggies. They have so many. I don't even know how many they have. But they're so freaking cute. They're just so loud. Anyways. Yesterday and these past few days have been slightly chaotic. I went to New York Pride and some of you probably heard about there being like a slight stampede, not slight, it was a stampede because everyone thought like there was a shooting happening, but really it was just fireworks going off, which I know because I know how fireworks sound because my neighbors are constantly like putting off fireworks so i know but the first sound that that took place where, where everybody started running i didn't hear anything so of course i ran with everyone but then i actually heard the noise that everyone was running from and it was fireworks so unnecessary so many unnecessary things have just been happening these past few days and i'm just like okay like for this video i think i'm just not even gonna edit it that much i'm just gonna let it be how it is so that i could just feel like you guys are with me like it doesn't have to be all I have random lychee in my windowsill because I didn't know where to put it. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not even gonna edit this video this much. I have to close this window though, I'm sorry because these guys are too loud. I hope that the new moon is treating you guys well at least. Oh, somebody, I hope the new moon is treating somebody well. It's like internally I feel good, like I feel light. I feel, you know, grounded in myself, but my external world has just been a little bit 
like unnecessarily chaotic and I'm just not really understanding why that is the case like uh, but you know what I'm just gonna spend this day like today with myself and mostly like just inside I'll probably just go on my roof or something if I want to get some sun but I don't know I feel like maybe like maybe I've just been maybe like expending my energy a little bit too much I don't feel like I have because I've been like giving out my energy intentionally and stuff like that but at Pride, I did meet a lot of my supporters. I've actually been meeting a lot of my supporters these past two days. I met one of them yesterday as well. And it's always nice. It, it is always nice, but it, it, it does get a little, a little bit overwhelming, especially when there's so many people at once. Like at Pride, I met so many of you guys, but it was so beautiful. And I'm so grateful to have met you guys and to have like just said what's up and have the short conversations that we did have because that meant the world to me and it literally just like kind of brought clarity to the fact that like people do appreciate my presence and appreciate what I do and so I'm grateful for that but your girl is tired mm -hmm. I'm gonna go put some shorts on and then we can start flowing maybe you guys could flow with me I'm not gonna put any music over this. I'm just gonna probably play a little bit of music in the back and just flow, flow. I've been feeling called to write, but it's like sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I be feeling like at a loss for words. Like I don't know what the fuck to say, but today I'm just gonna let it flow. That's the word of the day, I guess. Flow, flow. Cause it's really nothing else I could do. I'm not even going live right now, guys. I don't even feel like doing anything right now. Like, I still do feel really tired. And I low key wanna take another nap. Even though I know that's probably not a good idea because the day is like pretty much almost over. But I just feel trained, like I don't know what it is.
That was a bit intense. <laughs> like I literally, I'm sweating. Like, well, I'm not sweating anymore, but I was sweating bullets. But that was so needed. Like, I don't even feel tired anymore. <laughs> I just feel like relieved. And I did a brief meditation as well, but really I just, I wanna go outside on my roof probably and just be in the sun. I hope you guys stretched with me. I understand if you didn't though, cause I, I definitely stretched for a long time. Like my stretches, oh, let me put this. I understand if you didn't know because I definitely stretch for very long periods of time and that was probably, it's not going to obviously be the whole, I think maybe 40 minutes, but normally I stretch for like 40 minutes to 45, just depending on how I feel, but really it's just because like there are so many stretches that I've like normalize within my body that I just can't go a day without doing because like it just wouldn't feel right if I left it out of my practice. But it feels like such a nice day outside. I think I'm definitely gonna go outside. If not on my roof, then I'll probably just go for a little walk. But um, what time is it? I'm holding my curtain so it doesn't get in the camera, but it's about to be five. It's literally 4.58. I love you if you're still watching this and if you're just vibing with me. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'll probably do a shower meditation as well. I'm just in like zen mode now. Guys, I just cried in the shower. What's new? Girl is always crying. But, I don't know, I just feel like I don't even really have that much to say today. Like. I just really want to write like so bad. I'm gonna actually write right now once I finish getting dressed. But I really just don't even know how I feel right now. Hopefully writing like helps me get that clarity that I need. But it's like I'm okay. But things just aren't clear for me right now and I need them to be, I need them to be clear in order for me to feel a little bit better and a little bit more secure within myself. Like I feel good, I feel grounded in just my being and in my spirit and my practice and in the person that I embody every day. But there's just certain things in my life that I need. I need to see evolve and I need to see them make more sense, if that makes sense. If that even makes sense, I hope I'm not flashing you guys. I tried to angle this nicely. Uh, it's like I'm tired of going through the same things not even the same things just the same things in different fonts but also I just it's the familiarity that just keeps me here and I need to learn how to be in unfamiliar and untouched territories and to just sit with it and be okay with it and know that it's for the betterment of myself and it's for the best. I feel like I'm being so vague, but it's just like, I don't, I don't really feel like going into detail about everything that I'm thinking about right now. Just know that I'm just ready for certain things in my life to change. And I know that it's coming and that it's up to me. 
I just have to have that that discipline. Oh, that feels so good. My my hair, like my ponytails, they be feeling so tight when I have these beads in because like none of my scrunchies really fit my hair when I have these beads in my hair. Cause it's hard for them to go around the beads. I feel like I want to take them out, but I've only had them in for like less than a week. But they are kind of just like in the way. If I'm being completely frank, <laughs> I'm just tired of worrying about my future and just all the serious things about life in a world that feels like it's literally falling apart and I know that that's probably the case for a lot of us but it, I'm just I'm just trying to find that balance between knowing and acknowledging that none of this stuff really matters but also you know doing everything that I should be doing for myself and remaining motivated and disciplined in a way that I'm not just like neglecting all the things that I should be doing and fulfilling in my life and sometimes I do feel like I kind of project those feelings onto the people in my life and kind of just like not judge people for you know not you know not seeing things similarly but I kind of just expect them to see things how I see them. But I'm just trying, like I said, to find that balance between existing in this world and contributing to this world while also knowing that this shit does not matter. <laughs> and taking care of myself spiritually and make sure, making sure those around me are taken care of speed, spiritually. But it's hard when those around you just don't really give a fuck about any of that. <laughs> like, a lot of my loved ones really just don't even, they're like just really caught up in worldly things. And like, you know, that makes sense. Like it's, those things are important as well. Like we're not, we didn't incarnate here for any for no reason. Obviously we're here, we're all here to fulfill a certain purpose. But a lot of my loved ones are just kind of like, that's like the only thing that they see. They see this material world and all the things that you could possibly attain here. And we're all just kind of like chasing it and Personally, for me, it's just tiring, like, because I just want to be happy and I just want to live. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to live, bro, like, and I want to live and exist and be with my loved ones, but it's so hard when they just don't care, like, and I can't force people to do and believe in and value the things that I value. But I'm praying that soon enough, more people will enter my life that are similar to me and we could just vibe out. But as of right now, your girl is dolo, like Zen has left me. I do have my friend Rima who is very precious to me and I hope she doesn't leave me too, but yeah, I, I would really like more people in my life who are just like-minded and some, like just people I can relate to, you know? Because it gets lonely, I can't even lie. I be feeling like I'm in one world and everyone else is in another world and it's just like those two worlds, the worlds like trying to merge those worlds just feels like 
a little bit chaotic and a little bit forced and I don't like forced, I like flow. I like for things to flow. I've been saying that this whole video. I just want to flow and I just want things to go smoothly and for things to make sense. <laughs> it's okay though. I know in divine timing, things will align and the people that are meant to be in my life will enter my life when they're meant to. And I just have to be patient and appreciate all the things that I do have right now. And today is one of those days where I actually do feel really at peace with just being with myself and being with source, being with spirit. But I don't know, it's just like, I just be thinking sometimes like at what point will, you know, things start to make a little bit more sense. Like at what point will things feel a little bit more linear because it's been a little bit scattered for a while now. And I've just been trying to have, I, I've just been trying to find peace in that. And some sometimes it's easier than not. Some days it's easier, some days it's really not. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just waddling my way through the world blindly led by source and I just have to accept it for what it is and that's okay things could be a lot worse I'm praying they don't get worse but yeah things could be a lot worse um, I don't know if I've just been thinking about this because like my my week has been a little bit chaotic it's Wednesday by the way it's just this is just such a random day for me to be um, filming this type of video but it is a new moon so that's the occasion but yeah um, it's been chaotic like there's been a lot of protesting going on in New York and then there was the fireworks that went off at Pride this week that everyone thought was a shooting and it was a little bit traumatic like we all had to run um, into buildings nearby and I'm sure some people got trampled as well. I saw a lot of people got hurt and fell and stuff like that. A lot of people lost their phones. A lot of people lost their family members and were crying and just panicking and just really distraught. Like the whole situation was just a lot energetically. And I feel like that's why today, like I've been just so tired, just trying to get my energy back because after that day, like I spent the night at my friend's house and then the entire day we kind of just chilled and did whatever, but I haven't really like taken the time to exist in my own space and just pour into myself. Yet, like today was the first day this week that I've been able to do this and I feel a lot better, but I do still have a lot on my mind. Um, and yeah, yesterday was chaotic as well, but we're not even going to talk about that because it wasn't even honestly that bad. Like, the, the beginning of the day was beautiful. I loved the beginning of yesterday. It wasn't until, like, later in the day where things kind of started to go left. And it wasn't, like, terrible things happening. It was just, like, little blips that happened. But it was just, like, making me think, like, why are all these little things happening? Like, what is this? And so today I just decided to stay home and just be here and exist in this space, exist in my own energy. And it honestly feels really good. That's some introvert ass shit, but <laughs> I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I think I'm gonna journal a little bit though. And we'll see what the rest of the night consists of.
You know what song is playing um in my head right now? On Mel Melancholy Hill by the Gorillas. I would play it, but I don't want to get copyrighted, so let's just sing along. Da, 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 da. Mm, 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 mm. 